final speaker here, Stephanie. We're all gonna die one day. Some of us are gonna die sooner than others. <laughs> but it's inevitable, it's gonna happen. I'm doing it anyway, and it, you can't change the fact that you're gonna die one day. But you can choose the way that you, that you wanna be remembered. I'm donating my organs, and after I donate my organs, I'm choosing to be cremated. After your soul leaves your body, your body is nothing. It holds nothing, and it has no meaning. Essentially, cremation is better than a tr traditional burial. It's, tr it's better because it's more spiritual, it's more affordable, and it's better for the environment. So first, I'm going to talk about the spiritual aspects of cremation. Dowd calls cremation a beautiful way of returning the dead to their borrowed elements. So this has the appeal to those who are wiser and more aware of the world and have a faith in something bigger than themselves. Smith calls says about cremation, from dust you came to dust you shall return. So this is making a reference to the Bible. So in the beginning, we were only dust, and only with the breath of God did we become life. And after we die, our soul leaves the earth, and we become dust once again. And I have a verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 42-44. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised in perishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown in natural body, it is raised in spiritual body. So what it's saying is that we were basically born in sin, and once, and the only thing that is good about ourselves is our soul and our spiritual life. So after our soul leaves, there really is nothing good about our body. So in summation, we're not using our body after we die. I'm donating my organs, and after, the, after I donate my organs, all be dead, but I mean, there's there's nothing left in your body. You have no, your soul is gone. And what I've always thought of it as is you're hoarding something deep underground that you're never ever going to use again, and it's just taking up space. And your friends and family think you're sleeping, but you're not even here. God calls us to be unselfish, and He wants us to relieve our friends and family of the immense stress that comes from losing a loved one. And although spiritual aspects is very important, no nobody can really argue that money is. And according to the FCA, a funeral can cost anywhere from eight hundred to more than five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. And also according to the FFCI, twenty-four percent of people who are choosing to be cremated choose it because it's cheaper. And cremation can be as little as two hundred dollars. And some some people argue that having a body is better because you have more closure for your family, but in many ways having ashes is better. Um, I mean, with a body, uh, you can't just leave a body somewhere. You've got to actually put it in the cemetery. But there are many interesting things that you can do with your ashes. For instance, you can turn it into jewelry. You can have like a little vial with your ashes just carried around. Someone else carried around your dead. Oh. <laughs> um, but it can tur you can turn it into metal. You can have a little vial or a locket or even turn it into glass. But there are many options available. Also, you can turn yourself into a firework. Oh. That's really amazing. <laughs> you can have your ashes put into a little vial and shoot them into the sky, and then you're a firework. <laughs> That's really cool. And so the Columbian launch services say that it's about $12,000 to launch your remains into space. And that's a, that's a lot of money. But they also only charge for shooting 100 grams of your ashes into space, only $50. So you can be a firework for $50. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Another idea that's coming soon, within the next five to ten years, is you can turn yourself into a tree. You can put your ashes into a little urn and plant a seed, and then boom, you're a tree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> according to the FFCI, you can spread your ashes pretty much anywhere except national parks. So if there's a sentimental place of value, um, you can spread your ashes there. Or a, lo a lot of people choose to have them buried at sea. Again, you can't just throw a body into the sea. That's kind of illegal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can, um, you can also choose a columbarium, which is like a cemetery for those who have been cremated. You just uh, keep the ashes together and put them in a little niche that's in the uh, wall. And you, even if you want to, you can just the cemetery. Um, so I've just discussed some of the financial benefits of 
Oh, and one other thing is um, the FFCI claimed that only 90% of people who are cremated do not get caskets. So you don't even need to buy a casket if you're cremated, which saves a lot of money, um, especially on that diamond encrusted coffin that you're going to use. But uh, I'm just discuss some of the more affordable uh, aspects of cremation. Now I'm going to talk about the environmental aspects. Um, basically, cemeteries are filling up very, very quickly. And according to Smith, if everyone from the time of Christ until now was still buried, then all of Europe would be a cemetery. And so we're running out of room to put all these dead bodies. And according to Smith, eventually it's going to be a common, all the graves are going to be dug up and put into a common grave or cremated. And th this is like 50 years or so from now when your family's gone and nobody comes to s see your grave anymore, just so they can have room to put the people who are dying now. And even in the UK, they started leveling the graveyard. So there's the original graveyard, and then they put six feet of dirt on top of it. And by their regulations, you only need three inches in between coffins, which is really gross. Mm -hmm. And according to Lee Potter, if they don't, we don't do something quickly, burial will become a rich man's pastime. So essentially, if you choose to be cremated, you are saving land. And land that would not be used or could not be used for anything else if you do not choose to be cremated. And if you don't choose to be cremated, you're going to be cremated anyway, so you just spend all that money for nothing. Um, also, in the same survey by the FFCI, 17% of people who choose to be cremated choose, choose cremation because you are saving land. And America is young, so it doesn't face this problem like China and the rest of Europe. But... Um, for China especially, they have cremation mandated because of overpopulation, so everyone has to be cremated. Japan, in Japan, the cremation rate is 97%, and in England, it's 70%. So you can even, like, these are just a few pictures of some in the city, of uh, just how much of the countryside just is city, and there's no room to have burial. So hopefully in my speech, I've convinced you that cremation is better than being buried, because it's more spiritual, it's more affordable, and it's better for the environment. And it's an easy choice to make. All you need to do is put it in writing somewhere. And although your death may be tomorrow, like or 50 years from now, it's still important that you plan how you want to be remembered. Please make the choice to relieve your loved ones of the immense stress that comes from losing a loved one and choose to be cremated.